had a similar incident and a similar press conference. We were bemused for three days. This time it has been for two days. For nothing else but expressing our political right to express ourselves and be part of the democracy that our constitution enshrines. My late father stood on this steps here and he said something that was very profound. He said that you must distinguish between the personal and siasa. Siasa wanaume no anagombana nayo huko nje. You don't bring it to somebody's personal home. William Ruto we can gombana huko nje. Don't bring it to my home. In this home you have assaulted my wife. You have assaulted my children. My Gen Z children. Those policemen assaulted them. You have vandalized the home. You have stolen items here. You have broken items. What is that got to do with the siasa we do outside there? This is my home. This is where my children are. But I say my children are alive. There are very many children out there since the protests that began in June that are dead. Their mothers are still grieving. Why are you harming people's children just because of expressing their political will and direction? as per article 37 the right to demonstrate jana tuliona maajabu we went to give gen z what we believed was a much needed support on nane nane we hit the streets we were there no more than 5 10 minutes and we were tear gas like you cannot believe driving out of town we were chased to this home. And it has been a siege since that time, where hundreds of police officers have been here. And they have done um, <laughs> criminal things you cannot believe, all in the view of looking for me. Seven years ago, they looked for me in this house, they couldn't find me. <laughs> Even now, you look for me in this house, you will not find me. You're wasting your time. Yeah? If you want me, it's a simple summons and I'll appear where you want me. Stop looking for me in this house. You'll never find me. Never. Please. This is your jinga. We are not born yesterday. All right? Now, I want to be very clear here. I am firm in my commitment for democracy of this nation. I have been very vocal about the economy of this nation. And it is the economy of this nation that has led to Mandamano. There is no economy here. William Ruto, you are collapsing the economy of Kenya. That is what I speak about. Please, don't try and make me a criminal. 